How do doctors determine what the best treatment plan is for your myeloma? Well, generally we want to know, are you weak? Are you tired? Are you losing weight because you're not eating? Are you having significant bone pain in your back usually, but can be in your arms or your legs as well? But then more specifically, we can determine the severity from the tests we did, your bone marrow, your x-rays, and simply the blood test. All of these determine the severity, and then we categorize you with staging. And there's simply two staging systems that are divided up into stages one, two, and three. Stage one is the best, stage three is the worst. They're called Dury Salmon, and that's based simply on the level of your protein, the extent of your anemia, the extent of your bone disease, and also the level of your calcium. Calcium goes up if you're losing bone. The other system's called international staging, and all we do there is measure the blood levels of your albumin and your beta-2 microglobulin. Albumin's a healthy protein. We want that high. The beta-2 microglobulin is an unhealthy protein. We want that low. All of this determines your stage. That's becoming less important today because there are so many new treatment options available for myeloma. But before we decide which one to give you, we have to also take into account two other important factors. What other diseases do you have? Are you diabetic? If you are, there are certain drugs we use for myeloma that can affect your blood sugar. We might want to be careful with those. And also, do you have heart disease? Some of the drugs can affect your heart function. We may want to avoid those if you have myeloma. We also want to take into account your lifestyle and your work style. Your work style is, if you're a surgeon or a pianist, you may want to avoid drugs that affect your nervous system so that you can still be able to finally play the piano and operate with, it, with being able to feel your hand. Sometimes they can get numb from some of our drugs. We also want to take into account how active you are. If you have an active lifestyle, we don't want to give you drugs that are going to impinge upon that in any way. So now that we know all of these factors, we then want to determine what specific treatment we can use for you. So next we're going to talk about the specific treatment options for your myeloma.